Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Say Yes to Jess, and I'm going to provide an update on the trades that I had provided earlier in the week, or last week, I should say. So last week, I was mentioning in regards to Bitcoin how it was at a very strong level of resistance, and I wasn't sure if it was going to break it. It was unable to do that and push past previous support. Once we noticed that there was a double bottom or just support being respected with some diversions, a push up then occurred. Um, as you can see, and I'm on the four hour, you guys, our trend line is broken. It is retesting previous structure. If you are a, <clears throat> excuse me, a person that likes to spot out patterns, we have an inverted head and shoulder basically being created here, okay? Um, it's not going to be an official inverted head and shoulder until the neckline is broken and retested. So again, we're still dealing with the same resistance area. We need to see this area broken and retested for a continuation. If the pattern plays out, these are measured moves. So the distance from head to neckline is what you would ideally use for your take profit, which is right at the previous structure. So if we're able to get those confluences, this would be a really nice setup. Again, um, if you trade this pattern, you've probably been looking for an entry right around this area. But for those of you that want to wait for a little bit more confirmation, I would definitely wait for the neckline to be broken and retested. So let's see what happens with that. All right. So as you can see, the market is trying really hard to push up, you guys. Moving along, um, let's go to Ethereum. I believe that was the next one that I went over. So this one was definitely a fake out. Um, we had the break. We had a retest, but then it just came down. It, it definitely just came down. And I realized, even though I had this structure notated, it was actually respecting this structure instead. So my fault for missing that level. And that's why it's so important to go back and analyze your trades and see what went wrong. Don't just delete your markups. You always wanna go back and analyze. So we had a retested structure, which was really nice. Push down some consolidation. When I went over this pair, there was a trend line. And I said to, if it breaks this area right here, we're taking it down to here, which occurred. The market, then started moving sideways, similar to Bitcoin. We had some bullish divergence and we got that big push up. Now we got the break in the retest and it's continuing to show some bullish momentum. So at the moment, obviously I would like to see if it can achieve the previous high right around here, around 48.20 and see how it reacts. If it does form a double bottom, which is basically rejection, excuse me, a double top, that is basically rejection at this level, we'll be getting a push down and if it does happen, I'm looking for it to respect the structure for a continuation up. And essentially, if that happens, that's where I'm going to be looking to buy. OK, if not, and it comes back below this level, then we just need to wait because there could be a shift in momentum. The other one that we looked at was Shiba, which was something that was um, discussed online a lot at the time when we looked at it. It was right here. I had mentioned this rejection, how I did not think this was going to go up. Um, I had, excuse me, this is from a, a webinar that I had, but we did get that push down. What was really cool was that we had a lot of support right here, a lot of rejection here at this level. We also had bullish divergence indicating that we were going to get a push up and sure enough, it did. And it went right around this previous high. So at the moment, we are getting a retest. If price could maintain a higher low, then we'll be looking for another push up. So just keep an eye out where price is. If you start to see it creating a support right here um, and creating that higher low, what you're going to do is you're going to draw your bullish trend line instead, wherever it, it stops. So just keep an eye out on it. If it does come back down here, great. If it doesn't, that's cool. Um, but just see if we can respect right an area here or here. Excuse me, I can't talk. Um, for an impulse up. If not, it is going to come back down a little bit lower, but you want to just keep an eye out and see if you can identify a higher low. Look for your entry and take it up. And then there was Crow. When we looked at Crow, um, Crow wasn't doing too much. I'm trying to remember. I think this was the retest we were looking at. Again, it's, it's not really doing anything exciting for me. However, as long as it stays above this level here, we are bullish. It's attempting to push up. What you can do here is just draw this trend line. It's been broken. Um, obviously, this area needs to be broken for a longer term buy momentum to take up to previous structure. Uh, so just keep that in mind that this area is a psychological level 
where we could experience a little bit of hesitation. So it will need momentum to break it, to retest, create a higher low to take up. So that's it, you guys. That's an update on the currencies, on the cryptos, excuse me. If you have any questions or you want me to look at something, do not hesitate to reach out. Um, also, there's been a lot of fake pages that are being made with my um, info. I mean, these people are stealing my info, like my pictures, my captions, everything. So just make sure if you are contacting me, I am always approachable. I normally send voice messages. Um, don't get caught up in those scams. I'm sorry if you guys are following the wrong pages. I'll put my social media handles just so that you guys know which one is the correct one. Have a blessed one.